Hi guys, here what you see are three really old UPS batteries. And guys, this is a 12 volts to 220 volts solar power inverter. Positive to positive and negative to negative. Turning it on. Here you see battery voltage DC input 12.5 volts at an AC output of 227 volts shows that it is working fine but when I will connect a load to it it is going to drain really fast let's turn it off now a 100 watts bulb you see 100 watts let's turn it on bulb is glowing and the voltage is decreasing really fast and it has gone as low as 11.3 uh, volts so guys even though the terminal is burned out Still it seems working a little bit fine considering its age. Let's go for another one on test. Turning it on. For this you can see that the voltage has decreased to as low as 11 volts and giving out around 215 volts. Now guys there is one thing to understand from this which is that we are not getting a constant output from the batteries so guys if we connect all the batteries in parallel we will get higher current but still the output voltage is not going to be stable it is still going to decrease with time as the energy gets consumed by this inverter and the load connected so guys the solution to the unstable voltage problem is this circuit which i got from banggood's along with that inverter now this is a buck converter circuit you see here it shows in negative in positive this is the on off switch main on off switch and these are the two wires for connecting it to the input now here you see is the output plus minus cvv this side is plus output and this is obviously the negative and guys cc and cv is for constant current and constant voltage which we can manage from here okay so yeah let's do the connections and see what it can do So guys, these two are 4 mm wires, really thick for carrying high current. Yeah, you see, 4 mm square. So uh, this will be connected to the output of this buck converter. And to the input, I am using this 1 mm wire. You see, 1 square mm. Because uh, at the input, the voltage will be higher and current will be lower. And at the output, the current will be higher and voltage will be lower. So guys, this is the output side as you can see. So let's connect the output cables first. black negative blue positive positive first Now guys, uh, the specifications of this buck converter are it can take an input voltage from 0 to 40 volts DC and can reduce the voltage since it's called a buck converter it can reduce the voltage from 0 to 40 volts. So the plan is to reduce the output voltage to around 12 volts which we need for uh, the solar inverter and guys the maximum input voltage that can be given is only 40 volts therefore I can only utilize 3 batteries making it 12 threes are 36 volts so let's connect all these in series now guys connecting the batteries in series is really simple plus minus plus minus plus minus so these two will be connected together and these two will be connected together simple clip connection will do the job just fine okay this one is connected now comes this one this one is also connected yeah so the final connection will appear on this terminal and this terminal let's connect the converter so red one is positive will be connected to this terminal yeah now guys here i have the multimeter pointing it towards 200 volts dc mode so yeah the multimeter terminals have been connected to the output of this converter so when I will connect the yellow terminal to the negative one, you will see the voltage that it is producing on this multimeter display. So let's connect this wire. 
yeah you see it's showing 12.7 volts there was a large arcing because of the capacitors and it's set at 12 volts that is perfect i don't even have to set it with these knobs once again 12.8 volts cool so guys you can see that there is no load connected to the circuit so at the same time let's also measure the current this uh Circuit is drawing from this battery set when no load is connected and this will tell its efficiency. Connecting it, pointing it towards 10 amperes current mode for current measurement. So guys for current measurement I will connect one wire to this yellow terminal and the other to this terminal of the battery. So let's connect the yellow terminal first to this red terminal. Now only the black one is left out. So as soon as I will connect it, you will see the current drawn. Okay, ready guys. So yeah, it's drawing somewhere around 0.05 amps, which is very less. So guys, 12 multiplied by 0 0.5, 0 0.05 will make it around 0.5 watts, half watt loss. Okay, which is very less. Okay, so we can uh, deal with that. Now let's remove the meter and connect it permanently. See? And I'm going to uh, use this 55 watts car headlamp bulb. It's 55 watts, although it looks small, but it takes huge power. Yeah, you see here, it's flashing 12 volts, 55 watts. One terminal has been connected. Let's connect the other one and see how bright it glows. You see, it's glowing pretty good. Cool, right? So the converter is working just fine as expected good amps at the output let's disconnect this wire okay so guys connection has been established you can see this light glowing i'll show you you see the light glowing red the inverter has not yet been connected the bulb has been connected 100 watts so let's see how it performs the circuit the wires have been connected now let's turn it on yeah cool right you can see there is no decrease in the output voltage output voltage is showing 12.9 volts dc input because of the boost converter stable voltage is coming from the converter through the batteries and the output is full 223 volts ac so the point of this boost converter is to buck uh, the point of this buck converter sorry it's a buck converter point of this buck converter is to reduce the voltage of this series connected 36 volts battery set to just 12 volts which is needed to run an inverter you can see 12.9 volts and 223 let's turn it off yeah cool okay so guys this what you see is a 350 watts drill machine now this buck converter can work at a max of uh, like 250 watts because it's designed to give an output of somewhere around 20 amperes and not more than that and uh, the output voltage i have set to 12 volts so 12 into 20 makes it 240 watts maximum okay so yeah let's give it a go see it's running now guys this is the red terminal from the uh, multimeter and the black one has already been connected to this bulb and the output from this converter so i'm going to connect this and you see that it is flashing 12.8283 volts okay but when i will connect it to the bulb at the same time you see the voltage reduced to 12.71 now i need maximum current flow so that the voltage drop is minimum now what i'm going to do is connect the converter with this knob to the bulb and then turn the knob from there to get an output voltage closer to this value like somewhere around 12.80 that will give me the maximum amps at present 12.83 now when i will connect it you will see down here 12.78 yeah so yeah it is closer to 12.83 the maximum value so the current is full so guys this is how you are going to set uh, the current value for this converter so it shows the cc which is for the current constant current knob okay so that's it hey guys don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit that bell icon for similar video notifications also do comment on what else you would like me to add to this present video best regards electron